And welcome once again. In this session, we are reading Luke chapter 20, verses 9 through 19. This is the parable of the tenant. You can also say this is the parable of the Son of God. Let's start at verse 9. He began to tell the people this parable. This is Jesus speaking again. This is the words in red. A man planted a vineyard. Uh, In the NU manuscripts, by the way, it says a certain man instead of just a man. A man planted a vineyard and rented it out to to some farmers and went into another country for a long time. At the proper season, he sent a servant to the farmers to collect his share of the fruit, uh, the fruit of the vineyard. But the farmers beat him and sent him away empty. He sent yet another servant, and they also beat him and treated him shamefully and sent him away empty. He sent yet a third, and they also wounded him and threw him out. The Lord of the vineyard said, What shall I do? I will send my beloved son. It may be that seeing him, they will respect him. When the farmers, but when the farmers saw him, they reasoned among themselves saying, this is the heir. Come, let's kill him that the inheritance may be ours. Then they threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. What therefore will the Lord of the vineyard do to them? He will come and destroy these farmers and give the vineyard to others. But when they heard that, they said, may it never be. But he, again, this is Jesus, looked at them and said, Then what is this that is written? The stone which the builders rejected was made the chief cornerstone. And that is found in Psalm 118, verse 22. Everyone who falls on that stone will be broken to pieces, but it will crush whomever it falls on to dust. The chief priests and the scribes sought to lay hands on him that very hour, but they feared the people, for they knew he had spoken this parable against them. Now, there's a lot of wisdom we can, we can glean from this scripture here. Of course, Jesus is really telling this parable about himself. You know, the the owner of the vineyard or the man that planted the vineyard, that would be representative of God, the Father. Uh, and the one who uh, are the, the ones who are the servants, those are the prophets of God. And also we know for sure that the Son is uh, representative of Jesus himself. So they beat the prophets and they killed the Son. One thing I really want to draw your attention to, and that is in verses 17 and 18, where Jesus is talking about himself as the stone which the builders rejected, that is made the chief cornerstone. You know, back in the olden days when they were building um, buildings, you know, they would take stones or big rocks that they would use for the foundation, and they would lay the foundation with rocks, and they would they would uh, have one rock which would be the chief cornerstone. That would be the rock that would be. Uh, basically the building block upon which the whole foundation is, is built um, you know, uh, around that same uh, stone. So Jesus is saying that he, he is the chief cornerstone, that he is the rock or the stone that the, that the builders rejected. But he goes on further, okay? And this is what's very interesting. Look at verse 18. He said, everyone who falls on that stone will be broken to pieces, but it will crush whomever it falls on to dust. Now, so there are two different things that's going on here. There are those who fall on the stone. Those who fall on the rock, they will be broken to pieces. Then there are those whom, on whom the rock falls, they will be crushed to dust. Now, if you have a choice between being broken to pieces or being crushed to dust, I trust that you would want to be broken to pieces as opposed to, be, to being crushed to dust. Now, what does this mean? And, and how do we apply this to our life? Jesus is the rock, okay? When we come to him, when we, especially when we initially come to him, 
We must fall on him. We must fall on Yeshua. We must fall on Jesus. And if you truly allow yourself and allow your life to fall on him, you know, you will be broken. You will be broken to pieces. What does that mean? You will be humbled. Your worldly plans, your worldly desires will be broken to pieces. Your life may be broken to pieces. You know, Jesus said, I don't come to, to make peace, but I come for a sword to divide. You know, and so to divide people, among, you know, between people, you know, to divide even within families, to divide families, to divide friends. You know, he said, come out from among them and then I will be your father and you will be my sons and daughters. So when you fall on Jesus, you will be broken. You will be broken to pieces. You will be humble. When you fall down, when you allow yourself to fall, when you get off your high horse, so to speak, you come down, you allow yourself to fall. Fall. I'm not talking about standing high in pride. I'm not talking about going high on the mountain and, you know, being so exalted with pride and in that. But I'm talking about falling on Jesus, falling on the rock, you will be broken. You will be humble. But there's the other thing, there's the other choice too, and that is if you don't fall on him, the day is coming will, when he will fall on you. And when he falls on you, you will be crushed to dust. I dare say that it is much better to be broken to pieces than it is to be crushed to dust. It's, mu it's much better for you to fall on the rock than it is for the rock to fall on you. It's much better for you to judge yourself than it is for God to judge you. Remember, it says also in the scriptures, we, we've got, uh, the, you know, the, in particular, one of the letters of Paul. Paul exhorts people to judge themselves before God judges them. You know, be honest with yourself. Open the scriptures. Am I doing this right? Am I doing this properly? Am I living for my life? You know, am I living according to my lust and my ways and my plans? Or am I surrendering all to God? Am I dying to self and living for God? Am I concerned about what I feel, my reputation, my this, my that, my, you know, satisfying my lust, justifying my sin, or am I surrendering to God? We need to judge ourselves rightly, honestly. You know, and some people, I'll be, let me be honest with you. Some people cannot judge themselves honestly. They're too proud to. They got too much pride to judge themselves honestly. They cannot admit they're wrong. They cannot admit they made a mistake. They cannot admit that they're in sin. They cannot say, you know what? I am wrong. I need to, re I need to turn from the sin. I need to change. They're too, they're too proud for that. They, you got to be humble. And admit, you know, they always say, you know, to admit that you are wrong, to admit it is half the battle. You got to admit it first. Then you got to allow yourself to judge yourself. Fall on the rock. Be broken to pieces. Repent. Change the way you think about life. Change the way you think about sin. Change the way you think completely, totally, absolutely. Change the way you think. Start wondering more about what God thinks. Start thinking about, you know, I'm going to think, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to live life according to what the scriptures say, even if it hurts, even if it condemns me, I'm humble enough to swallow it. Otherwise, you will be in line for the rock to fall on you and you will be crushed to dust. So there are two choices, is a fork in the road. You can be part of group A or part of group B. Group A are those who have fallen on Jesus and fallen in utter humility and repentance. They're not easily angered. They're not easily offended. They are humble. They're willing to swallow it, bite the bullet. Then there are those who are pr proud. They're not able or willing to bite the bullet. It hurts them too much. They're not w willing or able to admit they're wrong. 
They're not willing or able to turn from their sins because they love it too much. They are the ones, that's group B. They are the ones that God has a date with. And on that date, the rock will fall on them. When the rock falls on them, there'll be nothing left of them but dust. You choose. Do you want to be broken to pieces or do you want to be crushed to dust? You choose. Thanks for watching.